Cape Perpetua Campground on the Oregon coast is another travel small, live big campground favorite. Steel hair and a wheelchair. I'm living Cape Perpetua day day. is between Waldport My and Florence with a campground located on the east side of Highway 101. Day. Franny, you're still beautiful. Being inland like and located along a creek, it's green, really green. When I see your silhouette, your silhouette. There are 39 sites, many for tents only, and some very short. The Moon Big West Coast RV Camping Book states RVs up to 45 feet will fit, however Kids not many sites will accommodate God RVs of that length, another day. reason to travel small. Reservations are accepted, so if you have a larger rig, that might be the way to go. We got lucky and found a beautiful site that fit our R-Pod. We could hear the creek trickling below and had a relatively private site on the door side of our trailer, but did have a site close by on the other side, still a nice spot. In the summer of 2017, we paid $26 for one night. Some sites have a lot of privacy, including this very cool hike or bike in site. Well, there's no time to waste now trying to tell the world goodbye. Yesterday's so far away and tomorrow's all the light. So friend, I take my hand and let's go live another day. It might not be our last. And some of the tent sites require walking down a little trail to get to these really unique and private sites. Well, I ain't getting any younger. If friend, you're older too. But I ain't lost my hunger. I, I'm still the one who waits for you. And I'll be here from this day on. Till they stick us in the lawn, yeah, I'll be There's a lot of water in this campground. The creek, this small waterfall, and another larger waterfall. The campground offers drinking water, flush toilets, garbage bins, and does have a camp host on site. Cape Perpetua Scenic Area is known for its hiking trails. The area offers 26 miles of trails. This house is full of stale air and the stench of kerosene. The trails are well marked, well groomed, and absolutely beautiful. And green. I did mention green, didn't I? And these dusty thoughts of you. Won't stop ripping at my seams. This is one of the bridges that crosses the creek from the campground over to the giant spruce trail. But it seems to me the sickness might be better than the cure. Yeah, I'm always drawn to poison when it's sweet against my tongue. The sugar there are 12 trails, three that are wheelchair accessible, and one that has a section open to mountain bikes. So there are five trails rated easy, a few that are moderate, and one that is difficult, but it says it's worth it. The trail names include the Oregon Coast Trail, Amanda's Trail, Trail of the Restless Waters, Cape Cove Trail, Captain Cook Trail. Some of the trails offer tide pools, old growth forests, and Indian shell middens. We explored the campground and the giant spruce trail. A little history about the area. In 1778, Captain James Cook first observed the headland and named it after St. Perpetua. The trying is so bitter when Cape Perpetua the was used as a base camp for the CCC. And we can thank the men that were based here for these trails. There is a visitor center within the scenic area and it is open most days. So The Cape Perpetua headland towers 800 feet over the shoreline below. It is accessible by car, and it's the highest viewpoint accessible by car on the Oregon coast.
We found this campground to be very quiet, very peaceful. It was a great place to do a little hiking and a lot of relaxing. We had just spent six nights with family, so we, well, we did a lot of relaxing. And Lexi liked it for the creek. Any place that she can get in water, do a little cooling off, is a favorite for her. We hope you've enjoyed this video in our Campground Favorite series. If so, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. And remember, we love comments, questions, and campground suggestions. So now, like sugar on my